Okay, question 10 is all about lines of symmetry again. It says, here are four designs made from two sizes of circles. So we've got small gray circles and large gray circles. Now it says, write the letters of all the designs that have lines of symmetry. Checking for lines of symmetry means using a mirror. So if you haven't got one, make sure you ask your teacher for a mirror. Easiest thing to do is place the mirror on the shape and check to see if it's a line of symmetry. The only line of symmetry you'll find on shape A is this slanted one through the middle like that. Lines of symmetry aren't always horizontal or vertical, they can be slanted, so watch out for that. Easiest way to check if it is a line of symmetry is to imagine the shape being folded across this line. If the top half will fit exactly over the bottom half when it's folded without any overlap, then it must be a line of symmetry. This bit of the circle would fit over this bit of the circle, and this bit of the circle would fit over this bit of the circle. Therefore, the, the whole top half would fit over the whole bottom half without any overlap. Therefore, this slanted line must be a line of symmetry. If we try the same again on shape B. The only one you'll find is straight through the middle there. Okay, now on the top half, this semicircle would fit over here. This circle would fit over that one if it was folded over, and this circle would fit over that one if it was folded over. So the whole top half of the shape would fit exactly over the bottom half of the shape if it was folded over it. So it must be a line of symmetry. Now then, on the bottom half, the, there aren't actually any lines of symmetry. Okay, there are not. But let's have a look what happens if you get one wrong. So some people might think that you can go down the middle there for a line of symmetry. But when you check it, you should see why that is wrong. This half of this grey circle here actually matches up with that half. But this circle here has nothing to match up with there. Okay, so the two halves aren't balanced. So this half would not fit exactly over this half because there's no circle there. So therefore, this cannot be a line of symmetry. So we need to get rid of it. Let's try a similar sort of thing on shape D. Some people may think that you can do a line of symmetry straight through the middle there. Now a lot of the things will match up. So this bit of the circle will match up with this bit. This bit of the circle will match up with this bit. This bit will match up with this bit. However, as you can see, this entire circle down the bottom has nothing to match up with up here because it would have to be there where I've put the cross. So the bottom half would not fit exactly over the top half because there's no circle to match up. Therefore, this cannot be a line of symmetry. So we have to get rid of it. So the only line, shapes with lines of symmetry are shape A and B. And that's what you'd have to write in the answer box. And that's question 10 done. Shape A and B.